your ninth Marvel film and the first one with a female lead and a female director. How did that set this experience apart from the prior films? Enjoying Brie and knowing that this was a particular, you know, watershed moment for her that's going to take her to another place in her career. A lot of times people don't understand what happens when you do movies like this. I mean, she's been around show business for a long time, so she understands the dynamic of what happens. But still, you can have an understanding, but you won't know. So once this, particular, once this film happens, it's like when I became Mace Windu in the Star Wars universe. I understood it, but all of a sudden, when you become part of that franchise, Different things happen. You know, people show up at your hotel thinking, you know, I mean, yes, I'm in the Jedi Council. You know, I'm a Jedi. You know, I'm a Jedi, and we'd love for you to come talk to the Council. It's kind of like, you know, you're adults and you don't have any real job, right? Uh, but people believe another thing, and she's going to become a different kind of individual to a lot of people that are Marvel Universe fans, you know? So Captain Marvel will become who she is. She's not going to be as invisible as she's been, even on this trip. Is life better before or after that happens, do you think? Life's always better. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to wait in line anymore. <laughs> that is good. Yeah, sometimes that's a good thing. I mean, you don't necessarily want to do that, but sometimes it's like, oh, okay, I'll take it. It's, it. it's good to have moments in your career where people remember you. Because uh, there are people who work, you know, their whole lifetime. People don't know one thing that they did or they'll go, I know that face and that, that's what you call it, uh, you know, but this is great. Being Captain Marvel is going to be 